When I attend forums, I am almost always asked about the homeless situation, and two minutes is not a long enough time to respond to it, so here is my in-depth response. I think we need hotels. That is the short answer um, in the hotels because Airbnb is picking up, VRBO is picking up, um, hotels are quickly going to be a thing of the past, and so it would behoove us to buy five or so, maybe ten, I don't know, what. it, it depends on what the demand for them would be, um, but failing hotels that are just going away. Um, because they're not part of the future, you know, or whatever, whatever the case may be, they're not succeeding. So they decide to sell, so let's buy them. And so the vision is you walk in and, you know, whether you're on drugs or you have like extreme anxiety and depression that keeps you from working. So you don't have a job and you don't qualify for unemployment. You don't get enough on social security if you have a legal disability that they can you know give you social security for and you don't make enough you're on a fixed income there are so many things that can cause homelessness but a place where you can go whether you're a family or single you know so long as you can pass a criminal background check you know you can get help and you just you walk in and you sign, you know, you sign in and you say, you know, I'm homeless, I need a place. Um, and they take your information, you know, and, and they give you a room. So you've got on site, you've got laundry, uh, showers, food, um, job placement help, and drug and alcohol and mental health um, treatment on site. So that is the goal because when you're homeless, you don't really have a place to go. There's not one place to go. There's so many and you have to call 211 and that is a nightmare to do because then they send you to 10 different places and then you may get help. You may not. And, sorry, it's really loud. Um, so the 211 system is extremely difficult. Um, and you have to tell the, your, your issues over and over and over again. And like, as if living it isn't hard enough, you have to keep talking about it. So one place where you can go, I want I want all of the programs, the 211 program, everyone that helps the homeless to have the same program, to have the same database and talk to each other so that you only have to tell this story one time and you can just make progress on getting better and getting into a better situation. I think that would help tremendously. I think that the taxpayers would be for it if we had to. Um, come up with another tax, I think taxpayers would be all for this one because it will get homeless people off the streets. And it's not that we don't want them on the streets, it's that when the homeless people are around, obviously crime goes up. And it's not that we don't want to see these people, it's that, you know, my heart breaks when I see someone homeless and struggling, and whether they're on drugs or not, or have mental health issues or not, my heart breaks for them because they need help and whether they want it or not or whether they're seeking it or not they're obvious excuse me obviously not getting it so i think this would be the hotel solution is i don't want to say annoying but as 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 much as it sounds like it's not going to do it because it's like they tried it in renton and it didn't work um they had a lot of crime and they had you know, but they didn't regulate it. They they had a hotel and they just, like, here you go. This is what people wanted. Here you go. Here's a hotel. And apparently they did what they wanted with it. And and people turned it into just as bad as on the streets. There are drugs everywhere. You know, feces and urine everywhere. Um, so, and trash. They're not cleaning up their trash. Um, so I think someplace with structure and... Um, 
stability and safety. So I mean, like some cops on site um, would really be beneficial. Um, and there's so much more to it because there's so many social issues and economic issues and policies that need to change to assist with this. Like, um, everyone's always asking about, on these forums, asking about systemic um, oppression and things like that. And how can we change the systems to make them better? Well, let's just, like, get out of the way is what I think. Government needs to really get out of the way and let people help themselves. Um, and I'll go more into detail on about that in other videos, but this one I really wanted to just address this hotel thing. Um, so I want to treat it like a triage center. So, you know, you go in, you get the help, right? You, you get put on whatever medications you need, like Suboxone for your, um, your addictions and you or a 12-step program or something you get put into you start going to narcotics anonymous you get rides to go there and then you you know you get mental health help so that you can function throughout a day without having severe anxiety um and then um so once you're there you've been there for i don't know let's say six months or so You've been there for six months you you're you're getting better you know your your stressors are not there so you can really focus on healing yourself and you start healing yourself then you find out okay so you've been here for six months let's reevaluate the situation and see how you're doing if you're feeling like you can move on from this step in life then let's put you in some transitional housing right like the tiny homes or mary's place um Let's put you somewhere where you can be on your own. And that's, you know, if you can't handle it, you can come back. And if you can handle it, you know, we, we'll have people checking up on you. You have a case manager. Um, and so they will check up on you and make sure that you are able to pay your bills and able to function as a member of society, but also function through whatever mental health issues you have. Uh, make sure that you're not so overwhelmed um, that you can't do anything for yourself. Um, and then once, you're, once you've been in transitional housing for a while, you know, six months, a year, however long it takes, you can move on to moving out, moving into a house on your own, renting or buying or whatever, whatever the case may be. Um, that's what I would like to see. And it's not so much that I want to hold people's hands because they're scared to go out into the world and make a name for themselves. Um, there are some people that just weren't prepared uh, properly. Like, they didn't get any kind of education on this. I think we really need to do more in the schools to educate our students on how to su succeed once you leave school and your parents. Um... I think we need to do more on that, but that's, again, I'm digressing. Um, I, I think, I think I've covered pretty much everything in that, and I, I don't want to pay for it by creating a new tax. I think this is something that the taxpayers would be willing to pay for because they would be helping to solve the problem. Um, and really get to the root causes of, of homelessness. Um, so, just trying to think, make sure I've got everything I, so I can end the video properly. Um, I never end them right, sorry. But, I think, let me know if I, if I missed anything, if you have any concerns. Um, I would like to not raise taxes. That is my goal, is to lower taxes and lower the cost of living and lower our, and just have the city live within its means. Um, that was something I had to learn when I was homeless. And it, it was hard, but I've learned it and I figured it out. And I'm stable. And I think that the city itself, the city council, the mayor, you know, the, the people running the show need to learn how to stick to a budget and stop asking for more money. 
Um, and I think we can do that. I think once we have really taken a look at who's sucking out all of the money and where it's going and if it's actually being used properly, once we can figure all that out, we can properly fix our budget. I don't think that we would have to raise taxes for this. Um, I think it's something we can manage if we properly manage our money we already have coming in. Um, so yeah, if there's something I missed, again, um, comment. You can send me an email. I'll put my email address in, in the description. Um, yeah, feel free to reach out to me. Um, let me know if you like me, dislike me, whatever. Um, if you want to have a talk with me, I'm more than happy to talk with you one-on-one -on -one and just listen to what you have to say. So, um, 